what's up guys it's your girl oh. <laughs> hey what's up guys it's your girl alondra coming back to you guys again with another video welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel hello my name is alondra but you can call me alo for short because i know that a lot of people struggle pronouncing my name today i am here with my brother juan if you guys have been watching my content for a while you guys would already a very special guest one. Oh gosh you guys already know who he is if you guys and you guys already know who's the jealous one and that's on per anyway so this is the long awaited video that a lot of people have been asking for over and over i know you guys are probably sad that he's here instead of my mom but for now, we're just gonna have to use him. Cut the cameras, dead ass. <laughs> so today, as you guys can see by the title, we will be reading my subscriber scary stories. Now, I usually tend to do these videos by myself, but I tend to get really scared. And also my brother got home from work and I haven't filmed with him in a while, so why not? So she said, you know what? I need my viewings up, so please. Oh my gosh, friend. oh gosh. Facts are facts, America. Facts are facts. You're so ugly. <laughs> Aquí está mi hermano, se llama Juan. Juan Manuel Hernández de la Torre del Monte. José Luis Jiménez Rodríguez Ruiz. <laughs> he's lying. He's like, you're fucking ugly, bitch. You're ugly. You're so ugly. No está mi mamá aquí, pero aquí está mi hermano. Y yo también hablo español. Aquí estamos todos, todos. You're so ugly. O si quieren subtítulos, presionen acá arriba. Sé que tengo muchos seguidores que hablan en español mm -hmm. y no entienden el inglés, así que ahí arriba por los subtítulos. Anyways, let's get into the video. This person said, we had a summer camp in one school in the province. One night, it was just me and my friend while the others were out preparing something. And I took a picture of the room we were sleeping in with my phone. I captured two floors floating heads and one head had its mouth open. The heads were not like real heads, they were more like skulls instead. Oh hell nah. Mm -hmm. Cut the cameras. Cut, Cut the, the fucking ca cameras. <laughs> I remember I once did take a picture of like the room that I was sitting in at Katie's house and then I got a picture of Savannah just floating and she was asleep. Oh hell. I've been trying to find that picture but I can no longer find it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Because I knew I was surrounded by witches. Nah, but that's fucking scary. Yeah, Low key, that. that's really scary. That's fucking scary, I wouldn't, sir. No. I had a friend, now that you say floating head on there, um, I told him, oh, what's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Just because I like to ask questions, like stupid questions like that. And he was like, oh, when I was young, he's like, I opened a cabinet once. He's like, and I saw a head, just what a head. Of? He's like, and I closed it. And I was like, what did you do? He's like, what do you mean? I was scared. Like I didn't want. It. I was like, I was like, yeah. But did you go back? He's like, no. He's like, when my aunt opened it, it there was nothing in there, and I was like, ah, that's fucking scary. That dude. is ill. So that's why when I open my cabinets, I'm like, you're so ugly. <laughs> no, because actually, what the fuck happened? Ew! I don't like that, guys. He was holding it from the top, and it just. <laughs> Did you do anything? No, I literally had it like this. What the fuck? This is not scripted, guys. And I had just stopped recording and just started recording again. Dead ass. And the Harry Potter cup too. Wait, maybe because it got really cold. Because I, I um washed it with hot water. And oh. then I put ice on it. Still, that's fucking weird. No, bitch. This is too much of a coincidence. Mm -mm. Cut the camera. The paranormal shit is starting. We're gonna clean this up. We'll be back. Yeah. My brother's trying to make himself another drink. Oh my god. And if I get. Who pushed it? Yeah, I just yeah, get yeah, 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 yeah. No, bitch. I literally tried to open it and it, it just went. And it didn't open. Nah. What the fuck is going on here on it's this It's sus. Day? It's a little sus. Fucking alcoholic. I'm just kidding, son. Y'all, I don't know what happened right now. That was a little too much. Literally, like, I don't know what happened. Like, the cup literally just broke. But you know what? You know what? I will not be shaken. Oh, I thought you said I will not be shaky. Anyways, continuing on with the video as if nothing Girl. happened. My abuelo once told me a story from when he was in Mexico and a creature he encountered that sounds very familiar to the bird figure that your mom had described. My abuelo said he was in a field and he heard someone whistle at him, so he whistled back thinking it was someone he knew. They whistled at each other a few more times until he saw something that looked like a big bird. As he got closer, he said it looked like a big bird with a human head that was bald. 
I can't remember other details of how it looks, but the bird creature attacked him and was scratching him all over his head. He had said he felt like it was the devil, but I know there's a lot of stories of brujas from his ranch too, so you never know. Thank you for an awesome video. Oh my god. That's scary. Girl, where the hell do y'all live? Cause, I know. Uh -uh. Everything goes on in Mexico. I know that ain't no white neighborhood. Imagine. Nope. I don't want to imagine that. She's a nope. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Uh-uh. Wait, but that abuelo is like strong as fuck for even like whistling back. If I heard a whistle, I would have ran. Yeah. I would have fucking ran. So maybe he wanted this to happen. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> just kidding. He's kidding. He's just kidding. kidding. He's kidding. Kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. We, we hope we hope your abuelo's okay, and we hope that you are okay. Moving on. One day I was at my grandma's house. It was four in the morning. I was sixteen, and I went to the restroom. I was about to open the door, and I heard chains being dragged around. Then I heard plates and cups breaking. They were being thrown, and I went to my mom's room and I told her what happened. I called my dad, and my dad went home and started praying. And my sister came out with her eyes white, and she said, "I will come soon, and I will kill you all." What the fuck? And that's when my dad and my mom grabbed her and put her in water and started praying for her. What the fuck? That's literally like. So they tried to drown her. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to drown her. Nah, because she had every reason to. Nah, because you confess to something right now. <laughs> oh my god. That's scary. That reminded me of that one time. So there was this one time, guys. Like our mom. Like I'll just say it was a crazy night, and she she it was just weird, and she started banging her head against the wall. But this was when she was younger, of course. And I saw her eyes, and they were like all black, and I was like. That's fucking creepy. If you guys want to know more about this story, go ahead and check out the first video that I ever filmed with my brother where he tells his scary story time. Link will be in the description box down below. So go check that out. It's probably not as fun as this one, but still check it out. It's probably not as fun, but definitely still scary. My dad told me once that he used to stay in an extra house outside his mom's house and the bathroom wasn't attached to his mini house. So he had to walk to the store they owned in the land, like a gas station almost, to use the restroom. He said he felt someone watching him, but he tried not to pay attention to it because he hates feeding entities fear. Once he got to the bathroom, he said he heard banging outside the door and he looked up at the windows over the bathroom and he saw horns like a bull and red glowing eyes staring at him. He said he stayed in the bathroom and my grandma found him there the next morning and when he told her she did Olympia for him and he never saw anything again. Red eyes. Yeah. Count me out, girl. Mm -mm. Count me out. Imagine That's just seeing that as you use a restroom. That's why I'm scared to use mommy's restroom because she has a window. <laughs> These demons doing the most. <laughs> my family had a party before we left Mexico and I asked my cousin if she had a scary story. She says she did. She said one night she was sleeping at her grandma's house and everyone was asleep but she couldn't fall asleep. She heard horse noises. She looked out the window and there was a man with no head on a horse. A car came by and that man on the horse disappeared. I hear a lot of stories about horses. I do actually. I ha and I have heard the headless thing. So yeah. I think it's probably, is that, was that in Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of, that's maybe like a Mexico thing. Yeah. Kind of like the Llorona, like that's, mm -hmm. that's probably like a Mexico thing. But I feel like a lot of people believe it so, like it's so real that they actually manifested sometimes. Yeah. And I'm just like... That's why I try to like stay away from that and like not think about that. Like sleep paralysis, those are so easy to manifest. Do not do it. Girl. Don't do it. Baby girl. It's not fun. I'll just say, when you try to scream and nothing comes out your mouth, that part. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. You're fucking <laughs> ugly. My friend's dad from Mexico had this scary story and my friend shared this one with me. All these stories from Mexico, that's how you know these are real because everything happens in Mexico. So basically what had happened was his mom asked him late at night if he could go get her something from the gas station. He did and he rode a bike back home. He felt four cold sharp nails scratch him on his back. He sped to his house and seemed to be fine. Nothing was on his back at all, but as years went by, he started to get a scar of four long lines on his back. I was shown the scars. Oh my god. Bitch. Girl. Hell no. uh -huh, that's a life thing. Mm -mm, that's mm -mm. I mean sometimes I'd be waking up with scars, but they're from Yubi. Yubi's my cat. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> he needs a cleanse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, baby girl, rub that egg all the around The fact him. that it just stayed on him. That's scary. That is scary. Uh, Where are these demons just attacking anyone at this point? Yes, 
<laughs> We're just joking. Once I was taking my dog Rudy out to go to the washroom, it was currently 11 to 12 a.m. at night. I turned over and saw this girl standing behind these plants. She looked like the girl from The Ring. Her hair was covering her face. She wore a white dress with long black hair that looked very wet. And what happened, girl? Did you? Did I know. Y I know. Did y'all get okay? together? Have some drinks? What happened here? What happened? Did y'all become besties? Is she the one writing this message? What's happening here? We need to know the rest of the story. You invited back to a special edition. You invited to the carne asada <laughs> with your bestie. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, that was a good one. <laughs> Your song. Dude, these stories are like no joke. Last year when I was living in my Nana's house, me and my mom and my brother slept on the second floor. And one day when my cousins were spending the night, I was downstairs and I was gonna go back to bed when I saw what looked like a hairy dude with very skinny legs and it was on all fours. Ew. He was on all fours. I'm sorry, I tried to get out as fast as I could. You're fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> it said skinny legs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the hairy and off horse is true. What well, would be good clout if I just punched it right in the face right now? That's funny though. The body was small and very hairy, so I was for sure not you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Only I can make fun of him. And its eyes and mouth were wide open and just black. I ran up the stairs and told my family what I saw. And way before this happened, it always felt like someone was kicking from under the bed. Ew. But it's not possible because no one could fit under my bed. Again, what happened afterwards? Did you kiki with it? Y'all okay? need to be specific on these stories because, girl, we Y'all leaving us with the cliffhanger. We don't know if it's your husband. <laughs> Some of them forget to skip leg day. All of them, bitch. <laughs> All of them. One night, I remember staying on the phone, talking to my girlfriend until like three in the morning. Before finally getting off the phone, I turned to face the wall and was getting ready to fall asleep. As I was dozing off, I heard someone call my name clearly. I turned to look and no one was there. The voice didn't even sound familiar. It was quick and low the way they said it. Then I end up falling asleep and right away I started having a sleep paralysis. Everything was floating in the room. I'm pretty sure I was floating. It just felt like an evil presence was on me. I couldn't move. I couldn't scream. It was so scary. I couldn't talk, but in my mind, I was saying, God, please help me. Oh then it God. stopped quickly. My heart was racing. <clears throat> I wasn't even sure what had just happened. I was so scared to fall back asleep. And I looked at the time and it had only been like 20 minutes since I had laid down. It's so creepy to even think of it. That's scary. Yeah, that that's, is. That really, really does sum up like sleep paralysis because that's really how it's like. like yeah. I remember I was having it and I remember I was yelling, but my lips were shut. Mm -hmm. All I remember hearing in my head was, because mm, mm, I was trying to yell like so loud and like nothing. <laughs> why are you, why are you wanna... <laughs> You're so ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly. Yeah, you feel, ugh, it's so ugly. Like, and there's sometimes like you just want to fight it so yeah, bad and you just, you just can't. You just can't. And sometimes you don't even see anything, but you just feel it. Yeah. You know? Something's there. I can't see anything, but you just know something's there. Yeah, yeah, and it's never good. I used to have sleep paralysis so often, and then one day they stopped. Thank God I don't want them back, but they were not good. I yeah. would have one like almost every night. And I would always tell you, I'd always be like, I feel sleep paralysis last night. No. I mean, and what can I do? Like, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. All you can do is it. vent, but that's all. We know the struggle. Exactly. And for the last story of today. Okay, so this is a story I'm not supposed to tell because reasons being. Okay, first of all, that already sounds scary to me. I don't even know if you should continue with it. But let's start off by saying my aunt had gotten married and at the fiesta, the salon was built on top of the cemetery. Ten red flags. Ten right red there. flags right there. We knew that, but we ignored it. And the time came to take pictures and we all started gathering people, damas, chambelanes, bride, groom, yeah, all that. They all posed. Once the picture was taken, they viewed it and the cameraman looked really terrified and in shock. Once we asked what was wrong, he showed us the picture and behind one of the damas, there was an extra dama. We counted all to make sure no one was left out. And like I said, there was an extra one, same shoes, same dress, same everything, but the head was a cow's head. It had one leg of a goat and the other of a chicken arms. 
Oh, that is scary. Yeah. No, legit. Yeah. That's that's some real like devilish mm -hmm. shit for real. They all looked at each other in shock and checked the rest of the photos. None of the others had the figure in it, so they just planned on burning the picture and never to be talked about again. This was 14 years ago. I You're telling us this, trying to bring the curse onto us, or what? Do you think you would burn it, like if you had something like that? Probably would take it to like be viewed by like someone like because like no one would believe it unless you actually show yeah. it so i mean i we believe you girl like that's yeah we believe you we believe you girl yeah. that's something i'd be like no look bitch look like for I real i don't know because i would not want to keep it in my house either then i'm like i also don't want to burn it I, i'll probably like you know how like there's like that room that they have annabelle in full of all those yeah <laughs> so probably good. turn it into there and be like can you just frame this yeah why was it behind that specific dama though I hope she's okay. Usually, like, if those things show up, they would show up in their era. So, like, yeah. maybe, like, a 1980s dress or 1980s. Yeah, but it was, like, the exact same thing as you guys. Yeah. And a cow's head. That's creepy. I'd be like, where the yeah. milk at? You're fucking ugly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for submitting these stories. I got these stories from my YouTube comments. But if you guys would like to, please DM me on Instagram. Your scary stories. Send them in, guys. Send them in. We'll believe you. Trust me. Like, yeah. there's scary shit that goes on in this world, outside this universe. We believe it all. We've been through enough as a family we, that... Yeah, we try not to think about the negative things because we don't want to bring in negative yeah. things. But reading your guys' negative things, is satisfying. that yeah thank you guys so much for sending in these stories once again it got us really scared especially at the beginning of the video when the cup broke that's not even scripted guys like yeah that was like that was yeah no that was for real scary <laughs> as always like i said feel free to dm me your guys scary stories and like my brother said we believe everything you guys tell us yeah for we real we have been through way too much as a family paranormal wise that at this point it's like anything can happen we love mexico stories because they are they really yeah. are scary mm -hmm. but girl we're the international the other international yeah ones. send them stories yeah. in we know you guys got scary stories yeah y si hablan español está bien todavía vamos a leer sus historias si sí. sigan mandando sus historias las leemos hay que asustarnos y ojalá la, la próxima vez podemos tener a mi mamá con nosotros because mm. no one likes you let's ask the audience <laughs> thank you so Anyways. much for stopping by guys yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always i will see you guys next time you're so oh ugly God. you're so imagine we just start levitating oh my god <laughs>